What's up, everyone? This is Pete with another take. I hope everyone is well. Um, so I want to go over uh, these comments that I responded to the other day. Uh, this person never responded back. So I want to read it and then give some uh, context in uh, where this guy responded from, which is on a post that I posted on my community tab. For a picture with myself, uh, Emilio and Macho. And we went to an event in the city that was celebrating Dominican Independence Day on um, February 27th. So I'm going to read uh, both comments here and share my thoughts and opinions. And also at the same time, uh, give some uh, constructive receipts. Okay, so this is from uh, Meta. Best Carl, he writes in the first response, furthermore, nobody is Dominican, but the select belonging to the Catholic Church. We are Quisqueanos, or however the European named the island, which I don't accept either, being that I don't celebrate European ideals. What we are what our mainland ancestors named the island, and you as a resident uh, linguist and scientist in our community should start using uh, this language. And then this is what he writes on the second response. I love how you differ to science on the, on, on the onset and then spew cultural jargon. They also have Taino genes because at a point we were all oppressed together on the island. Okay, and this person is referring to the Dominican and Haitian ethnic. Furthermore, if you're going to debate this, then remember that Jamaica and the Les Antilles suffered the same oppression from other nations. And they also have Taino slash Arawak genes. This whole Hiwayawa movement has changed, uh, which to note uh, in the post above, which I'm going to review in a sec after this, I didn't mention uh, Hiwayawa. Okay. This is a reason why I couldn't stay. So I don't know if he was referring to that he was in the Hiwayawa group. Which again, <clears throat> I gave my opinions on certain things with their language, which I'm not going to discuss here. You know, I already moved forward from that. So I don't know where he's coming from when he mentions that. Uh, some want to sell our culture while others sacrifice their eth ethics to uphold cultural separation and colorism. Your rhetoric isn't scientific yet. Please go into Pacifics instead of making yourself sound like a, instead of making yourself sound like the racist side of Darwinism. So that's a lot to take in. So we're going to go over that. Uh, the first thing, just to give some context. So the other day, sorry, I posted this picture, right? This was on February 27th. Uh, it was good building with Macho and Emilio. So it's from this post. Um, originally, uh, Aldi Rivera, he wrote this, uh, last year. So I saw this on my timeline on Facebook. I reposted it and, uh, added some specifics to it. So this is what I wrote and then I'm going to read it and then I'll gonna go into everything. Uh, science explains why there are differences or nuances. Imagine you have two different kinds of candy. One is red and the other is blue. Even though they are both candy, they look different because of their colors. Similarly, people from the Dominican Republic and Haiti might look a little different because they have different genes. These genes are like the instructions that tell your body how to grow and work. Sometimes, People in the Dominican Republic, they have genes that come from Spain, uh, North and Sub-Saharan Africa, and 
Tainos who lived there a long time ago. People in Haiti might have genes from Sub-Saharan Africa and France. So just like the red and blue candy, even though they are both candy, they look different because of their colors. A sign of different admixtures. In the same way, even though people from the Dominican Republic and Haiti are both humans, they might look different because of their genes. Two ethnic groups on the island that went through different adaptations, conditions that will forever set the two apart on why they are fundamentally dissimilar, planting seeds for things that will arrive later down the road. Um, so this explains basically in a nutshell um, why uh, the Dominican ethnic group and the Haitian ethnic group are fundamentally different, different because both ethnic groups on the island had entirely different demographic origins. Um, here's quick examples. Uh, one example on the Spanish side of uh, Spain abandoning the colony for three centuries, right? This set conditions for uh, the former uh, Spanish colony to be in isolation, which gave rise to um, the Tainos that were Hispanicized by the Spanish, the Europeans, and the Africans that the Spanish brought with them to admix. And this will give rise to the Dominican people on the island as an ethnic group. Uh, another good example when it comes for Dominicans developing as an ethnic group on the island is the slow uh, development that uh, we had on the island. <clears throat> and the factor, like I just mentioned, is Spain abandoning the colony. Right? And this will give rise to cattle ranch. Now, the opposite side in San Domain, um, this wasn't the same because, right, beginning in the early 18th century, uh, the French focused more on uh, the plantation model. And this plantation model, the French were importing enslaved people of African descent in mass. So um, there was a high mortality rate. And because of this high mortality rate, the people that would emerge on the island in the Western third, they didn't have time um, to develop uh, culturally and ethnically the same way that Dominicans did on, on the Spanish side of the island. This is a historical fact. There's no way around this. Okay? <laughs> so let's also go back into what this individual said so I can give some content. Okay? Uh, the first thing he says, furthermore, nobody is Dominican but the select belonging to the Catholic Church. Now, that's a little unrealistic, right? And that shows uh, that this person is ethnocentric centered, right? So the term Dominican and Quisqueanos is both synonymous with the Dominican identity. There's no way around it. We have to accept all of it, right? The Taino, the European, and the African, all is a part of what makes the Dominican a Dominican person on the island, okay? Because that's all of it together is part of our identity, right? It's called being idiosyncratic, right? Idios the idiosyncrasy means that all of those things together that are uh, developed on the on the Spanish side of the island is coming together. That's what made our ethnic identity. Okay. So let's go into the second part, right? Uh, he says they also have uh, Taino genes. Um, so the, he's trying to refer to the people of Haiti. Okay, 
Now, according to DNA, Taino ancestry among the people of Haiti is non-existent. And the reason because, right, by the time the people of Haiti were imported into the Western Third by the French in the 18th century, right, during that time, the remaining Tainos on the island were already Hispanicized and adverts on the uh, Spanish side of the island. Right. So just to give some context, I'm going to read this from Taino and African maternal heritage in the Greater Antilles. Right. This is from 2017. It says the mitochondrial haplogroup frequencies for the general Haitian population shows that most of the Haitian individuals examined, 98.2 percent, belong to the L super group of Sub-Saharan Africa, origin and distribution. The mutations in the HVR1 and 2 regions, as well as coding region of FRLP haplogroup assignments, are provided in the table. Three. Most of the freaking haplogroups in Haiti is L2A at 23.4%, followed by L1C, 10.1%, L2B, 9.5%, L0A, 6.3%, L2C, 5.7%, and L3F, 5.1%. A number of other animal haplogroups are represented in polymorphic levels below 5.0%. A relatively small percentage of Haitian individuals are members of either the HV 0.6% or H 1.2%, clades whose origins are Eurasian. No Native American mitochondrial DNA lineages were detected in Haiti. Okay? And this is cited in, once again, the article called Taino and Maternal Heritage in the Greater Antilles. Now, the difference between the Haitian ethnic group and the Dominican ethnic group is that for Dominicans, we don't just have African DNA or Sub-Saharan African DNA, but we also have North African DNA. Okay? Um, like in the article from 2017, when it cites about uh, the European lineages, right? On the maternal side, is lower, but on the paternal side, it's uh, much higher. So I'm going to read this uh, real quick. It says, the analysis of unparental markers of the human genomes, that is the mitochondrial DNA transmitted along the maternal lineage, and the male uh, Pacific region of the Y chromosome with a parental inheritance revealed different patterns reflecting the political organizations of the European colonies and the Americas that were well that were ruled by European men with a dominant social role. In general, the maternal lineages show a high proportion of Native American lineages. 30 to 60 percent. Okay, and that's referring all together for the uh, Spanish speaking Caribbean, Puerto Rico, the Dominican Republic, as well as Cuba. Or African, 20 to 40 percent haplogroups, whereas the European lineages are less frequent. Okay, it says 10 percent. That's on the maternal side. So let's read the other half of it. It says, on the paternal side, most of the Y haplogroups are of European origin, 70%, or African origin, 20%. That's talking about North African. Whereas the Native American lineages are very rare or absent. So in this study, it shows on the paternal side that a small number of Dominicans inherit uh, uh, Native DNA on the paternal side. So, so far, right, it shows that uh, Dominicans inherit uh, seven native haplogroups present on the maternal side and a very small percentage 
on the paternal side. And so far, uh, we're the only ones that has both <clears throat> the native DNA on both the maternal and paternal side. Um, studies haven't come up yet that shows if uh, Puerto Ricans have native DNA on the paternal side as well as for Cubans. So uh, who knows what would turn up in uh, new studies in the future, okay? So let's go back to this. And so he also mentions about uh, Jamaica, right? Now, <clears throat> among Jamaican Maroons, right, the native Hapa groups A2 and B2 um, survive in isolation among Jamaican Maroons. And the reason for this is um, uh, depopulation events in Jamaica where um, the Spanish um, moved from Jamaica to Cuba when the British took over uh, the colony. So that's only uh, prevalent among uh, the moon, some maroon communities in Jamaica. Whereas in the Western Third, and formerly uh, Saint Domingue, today Haiti, uh, that wasn't present because, again, after the devastations of Osorio, the remaining Tainos who were Hispanicized uh, were already admits and eventually will become uh, Dominicans. Okay, and then let's go to the last thing, right? And then he's, he just says out of nowhere uh, the racist side of Darwinism, right? So what I mentioned earlier about uh, slow development of uh, humanity, right? They had a small development in culture, right? When it comes with uh, making tools, uh, learning how to cook using fire, uh, bipedalism, standing upright and walking, all of that uh, took time. And when you look at in areas of archaeology, right, you can see how uh, different cultures develop over time. So I use that as an example to explain how Dominicans develop on the island of, of Hispaniola as an ethnic group, right? Because that's how uh, culture and ethnic identity, in my opinion, uh, comes about is through a slow uh, process of development. And that's why we have to start uh, looking at things more analytically, you know, and that's a big problem in my opinion, because uh, we look at things through the lens of being reactionary, you know, because that's the thing that uh, race baiting does. It gets your emotions riled up. You know, it's like if a wrestler says something that pisses you off and you believe it in your heart, you're not going to let that go. So, you know, you're going to curse, you're going to throw things at that wrestler and all that stuff, you know. And this is things that I like to do. I like to, you know, try to uh, be relatable because this makes it easier to get my argument across as well as uh, sharing things that I'm doing, whether it's uh, with education uh, or being competitive and stuff like that. Um, so that's all for today. Uh, give your thoughts and take on this, your opinions, and until the next bill.